What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. About six months ago I kind of put in an electronic adenoid rod and I think it's time to actually give an honest review uh, about the adenoid rod. So when my girlfriend kind of stayed over who now lives with me right now uh, and you kind of seen her in the previous video of uh, painting our porch here she kind of said Eric you got to do something with the water here. It stinks like rotten eggs, sulfur smell. It's really really bad and one of the, one of the um, the conditions for her moving in was I had to get rid of the sulfur smell. So I kind of looked and looked and looked uh, about what I could do to get rid of the sulfur smell. Well, a lot of them say to take the adenol rod out of the water gear, which I did with this one, but it could accelerate. Uh, by, by, let me kind of back up here a little bit. If you take your adenol rod out of these uh, Richmond water heaters, uh, there's a chance it could accelerate the, um, the contaminants that are in here. And you're going to want to flush these things out probably every 6 to 9, 12 months uh, to make sure all the contaminants that you get from your water aren't building up inside your water heater and could prematurely ruin your water heater. So I still have to do that. I have the hose all set up and ready to go here, which we're not going to make a video on that, but because that's another video for another time. But I went ahead and bought the Coro ProTech electronic adenol rod, which comes in at about, I think, 16 to 24 inches. I would really have to look at the... I would really have to look at the description here on Amazon to, to know how long the adenol rod is. But for the most part, I'm pretty satisfied with the purchase. Now, there is some caveats on here that I'm kind of going to get in here um, to get in here about how the installation kind of went and everything. Well, if you kind of look up here to the previous videos, uh, I'll put, I can't remember if it's going to come up over here, come up over here. I'll, figure, I'll swing a card out here so you guys can see part one and part two of the videos here. Uh, where I kind of installed this adenol rod. Part of it was my fault uh, for, <laughs> for first off going the wrong way to try to get it off and, and then for the second part kind of routing all the, the biggest hardest part is getting this getting the adenol rod out and routing this at least for me routing all of the electronic lines over here to I got a plug that's kind of sitting over here off to the side here uh, to kind of plug in here on a 120 volt at least in the United States it's a 120 volt system to run the adenol rod. Well, it's pretty much gotten the sulfur smell out. Now, the girlfriend says that she can still smell uh, sulfur coming from the water. I technically, I really can't smell it. Once in a great while, I can smell it. Uh, if I, I don't know if it's just the, <laughs> the time of the day or kind of whatever happens where I can smell it, or maybe uh, my nose is kind of more sensitive than what it usually is, or my, I have sinus. I've always had sinus issues, kind of light sinus issues, but. Maybe I can smell it, maybe I can't, but kind of getting back to this, every once in a while I can smell it. I, I can smell it. So I don't, I can't really 100% effective say that the adenol rod, the electric adenol rod is working. Now, taking the adenol rod out was the right thing to do to get rid of the sulfur smell. I'm, I will say that. But again, uh, it can accelerate the wear and the contaminants that kind of come in here uh, to rot out your water heater prematurely where you're having to maybe not do it. The last one I had in here was 20 years. Now, I, the previous owner put the last one in. This one might not last that long because I took the adenol rod out. But I can't say for sure that this electronic adenol rod has actually gotten rid of the sulfur smell. Now, it's maybe contributing, and I have no scientific proof of this or anything. It may be contributing to maybe the slight, very, very slight... Uh, smell of sulfur that's in the water from this electric one probably if i would have just taken it out plugged it off and kind of was done with it and just got the plug and just plugged it and said and that was it and didn't get this i probably would have no issues with the water smell but maybe there's a very 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 slight uh because it's electrified and it's electrifying the water to try to get those contaminants to kind of stick to that anode rod maybe that's contributing to some of the sulfur smell but again Completely unscientific, uh, completely, uh, it's, it's, it's a complete theory on my part. But every once in a while, you can smell uh, a little bit of sulfur on here. Now, am I satisfied with the purchase? At the time, I think I spent like $114 with shipping from Amazon here in the United States. Um, I guess that's good. I don't know if that's good, if that's bad. Uh, I've seen at times it was kind of down to $90, but I kind of waited and waited and waited for the price to drop. It never did, so I just... So I just pulled the trigger and I bought it. Um, 
but can I 100% say that that this at this electric adenal rod completely got rid of it? No, I cannot say with 100% certainty that it, that it did. Uh, I think taking the adenal rod out was the better decision to do that with other than putting this one in. But that's all I got to say. Kind of, I don't know, this is not really a real good review on this thing. All I can say is, guys, if you're going to take your adeno rod out to try to get rid of your sulfur smell, just know that uh, the contaminants and the, the, the minerals that are coming in from your outside water from a well, now I have a well here, that it can rot the inside of these water heaters out. And especially if you don't have an adeno rod in here, it can accelerate that. Uh, some people have said, I've gotten 10, 15, 20 years out of it. Some people that take the adeno rod out and say they've only got two or three and had, boom, had to get right back to... Uh, getting another water heater but i'm going to stick around with this i'm going to kind of do probably not not another video in a year or anything like that if this thing lasts five ten years and this thing's still in it well i could probably say that the uh this protec adeno rod probably was the right call to make on here other than just taking the adeno rod out and putting the plug in here but i can i really say 100 percent certainty that the electronic adeno rod was the right call or was the, is the reason why I'm not getting any more sulfur smell? No, I, I, I really can't do that. I, I can't say that with 100% positivity on it. But I don't know. Well, let me know if you guys, if you guys installed this, let me know what you guys think kind of write down there in the comments. I'm just the guy that, can, that just does my own little small little house projects. This was kind of small enough where I could take the Adeno rod out by myself and, and put this one in. And it only took me... <laughs> In the video, it took me two days because I was trying, I was tightening the adeno rod instead of loosening it. But it's all part of home ownership and doing all that. But guys, let me know what you guys think right down here in the comments. If you've got this adeno rod, this electronic adeno rod, let me know. Do you guys think it? Do you guys think it works? And it's 100% getting rid of your sulfur, or are you like me, where every once in a blue moon you kind of get a whiff of sulfur? Now, again, I don't know if it's the minerals in the water and my a combination of my sinuses and all that kind of going on here but i would like to know what you guys kind of think right down there in the comments also guys give it the thumbs up video if you like this video give it a thumbs down if you do not guys if you do give it a thumbs down i really appreciate why you gave it a thumbs down and also guys make sure you hit that subscribe button so you guys get more videos just like this one we're going to do more house stuff uh i'm going to get some back into the more sports stuff that's kind of guy why i got my lion's gear on here and we're going to do some beer reviews here too i just got to go out Get some more beer to do some reviews on, and we'll get going to doing that here very, very shortly. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces. Take care, guys.